The infamous last question on the Mathematics Extension 2 paper got many people stumped. It's a tough one. So in part B, uh, it consists of a triangle, many triangles, and you want to try and prove dy equals to ze. In this triangle, uh, there are many parallel lines. Um, there's this one, there's that one, and there's the third one. And it's also given that BC on DE, which are these two lengths, uh, is equal to root two. And similarly, it's equal to CA on FG, which are these two lengths, and uh, BA on HI. So all of these ratios of these three pairs of sides are of a ratio of root two. So the way you want to first approach this question is you notice that there are a lot of similar triangles. Uh, three pairs in fact. Uh, more than three pairs, but three main pairs. So let's just start by proving one of them. So in triangles A, D, E and triangles uh, A, B, C, which are these two triangles, uh, you want to prove that it's similar. So A, D, E is equal to angle A, B, C uh, corresponding angles are equal and uh, DE is parallel to BC. Also, um, angle BAC is common. Therefore, triangle ADE is similar to triangle ABC and the reason is that it's equiangular. So similarly, uh, you can prove the other three pairs, other two pairs of triangles are equal. Uh, but since it's uh, basically the same reasoning, you can just use similarly. So for these two pairs of triangles, uh, triangle GBF is similar to triangle uh, ABC. And triangle CHI is similar to triangle uh, CBA. So from similar triangles, you know that the ratio is root two. So uh, you know that, so using these two similar triangles, you know that BF on BC is equal to FG over um, AC. And the reason is that corresponding sides of similar triangles are in the same ratio. And that's equal to, so you know that uh, AC on FG equals to root two. So if you take the reciprocal, it's just equal to one on root two. Uh, similarly, you can do the other pair of triangles, which is these two. And you can, you know that HC on uh, BC is equal to uh, HI on BA. And again, that's equal to the reciprocal of root 2, which is 1 on root 2. So it might be easier to have a different notation. So we'll label these lengths A, B, and C. So from, prev from previously, we know that uh, BF over BC is equal to 1 on root 2. And that is equal to A plus B over A plus B plus C. Similarly, HC over BC is equal to 1 on root 2. And that's B plus C over A plus B plus C. So they're both 1 on root 2, so you can equate them both. So now you know A plus B over A plus B plus C is equal to B plus C over A plus B plus C. You can cancel these two out. And in the end, you can cancel the B out as well. So you're left with A equals C. So you prove that BH equals to FC, but that's not done. You have to prove DY equals ZE. So from previously, uh, there were these parallel lines. And you know that DY is parallel to BH. 
and db is parallel to yh. I mean, d yeah, parallel to yh. So therefore, dybh is a parallelogram. And the reason is that um, there are two pairs of uh, parallel sides. Hence, uh, you know that in a parallelogram, the opposite sides are equal and parallel. So BH is equal to DY uh, because of opposite sides. Opposite sides of parallelogram is equal. Or are equal. Uh, similarly, you can do the same for the other parallelogram. So ZE is equal to FC. And therefore, uh, so you know BH is equal to FC from here. Uh, therefore, DY is equal to ZE. And uh, now you've proved that, you've proved part one or part I. So for the next part, you want to find the ratio of YZ over BC. So now that you've proved that BH is equal to FC and is equal to DY and ZE, we can now label them as one variable. Uh, let's say X, uh, just to make it easier. So X, 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 and X. So using similar triangles again, DE over BC is equal to one on root two. Uh, corresponding sides of similar triangles are in the same ratio. We can simplify this into two X plus YZ over two X uh, YZ over BC. Into BC is equal to one on root two. Uh, again, we can use previous parts, uh, similar triangles again. HC over BC is equal to 1 on root 2. So we can simplify this into HF uh, plus X over HF plus 2X is equal to 1 on root 2. Uh, and we can just move the other parts over in order to simplify it. So you get, you move, you collect the HFs and the X. And then you want to find HF is equal to uh, we can rationalize the denominator and then you should get two root two plus two minus two, minus root two, and that cancels, and that gives something simple as x root two. So now you wanna find yz on bc, so you use this again. So you go uh, yz on bc plus two x on bc is equal to one on root two. Um, I just split up the numerator, and now yz on bc is equal to one on root two minus two x and BC is 2x plus HF. And from here, HF is equal to x root 2. Uh, so we can sum it all in. Uh, this is useful because before there was this x, so we, we want to somehow get rid of the x. Uh, and to do that, we have to find a relationship between HF and x, which we have done here. And you get 2x plus uh, x root 2. Uh, so yz over bc is equal to 1 on root 2 minus 2 over 2 plus root 2. So all I did from the previous line was just um, cancel out the x's. And all we do now is just uh, rationalize the numerator, I mean denominator. And um, that is your exact value for yz on bc. So in the end, 
it just became a lot of algebra and you had to simplify a lot. And the hardest part was probably uh, trying to find the relationship uh, between h, f and x and knowing that you have to use it in this. And what made it easier is, is what made it easier is that you uh, labeled all these sides x's so it became much easier uh, rather than using all these uh, letters like y's and z's.